Hello. Here we learn how we can make use of regression or method of least squares to analyze the time series. That is, if we are given some kind of past data, how can we try and forecast future data? For the purpose, let us say we have years and sales in thousands. Okay. We have sales in thousands. So, years, let us say we have 2001 and for sales, let us say we have, fine. Now, as we see, one of our variables, suppose we call them x and y. We will not call them x and y. Suppose for a moment we call them x and y. So, this is x and this is y. If we have a look at our x value, we see that we have years over years, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, they are following a particular pattern and that pattern is an increase of 1 in each of these values. So, my x values are following a particular kind of pattern, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5. This kind of analysis where we are given a pattern and the question suggests that find sales in 2007. So, I have to forecast what are the expected sales in 2007 if this is my data from past. Okay. So, what I will do is I instead of calling these x and y, I will try to analyze this pattern and I will do something differently. Let us create some further columns. What I'll do is, I'll assume the central most, 2003. I'll assume this period to be period 0. Now, if this period were termed as 0, then this period becomes plus 1. So, I get year 1. Then from here further I travel a year, so this becomes 2. And if this were 0, how do I date back? I will be going down by 1 year to minus 1, then I will be going down again by 1 year to minus 2. So what happens is, this becomes my data. This is what I will be using as my data. So let me convert these years into some different values deviations instead of using them as years I'll use them as deviations and then I'll call those deviations as X now what I'm doing is I'm taking 2003 as 0 so this becomes 0 2004 becomes 1 2005 becomes 2 similarly when I move down it goes minus 1 and minus 2 so, instead of calling this as x, what I have done is, I have called this as x. That was an easy adjustment. And let me call sales as y. So, now, do we remember what are the regression equations? Regression equation is y is equal to a plus bx. And in order to solve this regression equation in order to find out values of A and B. What do we do? We go ahead and solve a couple of equations simultaneously. Sigma y is equal to Na plus B sigma x and sigma xy is equal to A sigma x plus B sigma x square. You may remember these things from our previous videos. So, these are the two equations that I need to solve in order to get values of A and B. Now, I need a summation of Y, I need a summation of X, XY and X square. Let us go ahead and find these values. 
I already have X, I already have Y, I need an XY because I'll be needing it over here and then I need an X square also. I will go ahead and find then 45 multiplied by minus 2 would be, is that fine? 75 multiplied by 2 is 150. Then I need X square, squares of these, minus 2 multiplied by minus 2, square of x would be minus 2 multiplied by minus 2, that is, these are the values of x square. Now I need summations of all these values. So let me find out summations of all these values. This will become 10. Now for summation of x, y, we will get 60, summation of x would be 0, Summation of y would give me 270. These are the summations. Now let me go ahead and put these values in these equations. Sigma y. Sigma y is 270. 270 is equal to n a. n is number of pairs that we have compared. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5a plus b sigma x. Sigma x is 0. So this complete term ultimately becomes 0. Then sigma xy. Sigma xy is 60 is equal to a sigma x. Sigma x is 0. So this becomes a multiplied by 0. This complete term this time becomes 0 plus b sigma x square. Here we have x square. Multiply it to b. So it becomes 10b. Now if I take this equation, what do I get? 270 is equal to 5a. This term vanishes because it has become 0. So a comes out as 270 upon 5. Giving me a value of so we can see that we have found value of a directly this is the power of taking deviations and deviations in a way such that sigma x becomes 0 if you are able to do this question becomes so simple and now when we try to solve the second equation what do we get we have 60 is equal to this term goes away because it is 0, 10 B. So B comes out as 60 upon 10, that is 6. Okay. So what is my regression equation? It was Y is equal to A plus BX. So let me try and put these values in this equation. What do I get? I get Y is equal to A. A is 54 plus b x, b is 6 x, this is my regression equation for the given data. Now my question here was find sales in 2007. So if I had not taken deviations, this years would have been x and I would directly have substituted x as 2007. But because I have taken deviations in case of years, so I will have to take deviation of 2007. What will be the deviations of 2007? Suppose we have 2005 if there were a 2006 and there were a 2000, sorry, if there were a 2007. So my deviations would have been for 2005 it is 2, for 2006 it would have been 3, for 2007 the deviation would have been 4. So when we are asked about sales in 2007. Instead of putting 2007 over here, I'll put the deviation of 2007, that is this 4. Okay. So, let us find out value y is equal to 54 plus 6 into 4, which gives me 54 plus 24, making it 78. So in 2007, I expect the sales to be 
2007 i expect the sales to be 78 okay so this was regression with a little bit of difference where instead of using the given values as x we have rather gone in for deviations of these values and use those values as x now this technique becomes handy in time series analysis where we have years over here so they are following a particular pattern and we can just go ahead and assume one of them to be zero leaving us in a distribution whose summation comes out as zero so when summation is zero we can see over here b multiplied by zero becomes zero a multiplied by zero becomes zero and my equations are solved so very easily this is all that we need to solve and this is my final equation 54 plus 6x and this is my final value of sales in 2007 so what can i say expected sales expected sales in 2007 are 78 1000 units why am i calling it 78000 instead of 78 because my sales figures are in thousands when i write 45 it actually means 45000 when i write 46 it actually means 46000 so this is 78000 so this was regression or method of least squares being used for time series analysis in our next video we'll take a scenario where we will be having even number of years now the important thing to watch out here was that we were having odd number of years 1 2 3 4 and 5 that makes a data for 5 years next time when we'll meet we'll try to find out regression for scenarios where we have even number of years till then bye bye thanks